Danny, welcome to Tramia Rovers Football Club. You must be happy to get the deal over the line. Yeah, brilliant. It, you know, it was a strange time for everyone at the moment and to get a chance to come and play for a club like Tramia was something that I wasn't going to pass up, so really pleased to get it over the line. When did you first hear about the opportunity it was to come and join Tramia? Um, it was uh, about... 10 days, two weeks ago, there was something, you know, a little bit of interest and things needed, you know, to be put in place first and um, then I just got, you know, the call to say you need to go in for the COVID test first, obviously, to make sure that there was no um, no noughties hardened inside me, so we, uh, we got that done, passed that and then trained for a few days, um, I think obviously because I've uh, I left Salford a few, you know, a good few weeks ago now, the club just wanted to see where I was at fitness wise and um, I, you know, hopefully done okay and managed to get something over the line which I'm very pleased about. So just during that time that you've, uh, you've since you left Salford what have you been uh, doing with yourself? Have you been ticking over? Yeah, yeah, I've just been trying to keep fit. I've been doing a few one-to-one -one sessions with a, a friend who's got his own coaching firm and that just keeping keeping sharp and making sure I'm doing the, the weekly totals and kilometres that you need to do from when I was at Salford. You know, we, we, loads of stats and stuff like that get thrown about now but I understand what me legs need on a weekly basis to make sure I was at the level to go in at a full time club and be, you know, measurable. So yeah, it was training most days. Is it nice to, to get back out there on the grass for the lads and start training training in, in a team again? Yeah, brilliant. There's um there's nothing like a, a banter that a dressing room provides. Um it's it's a brilliant environment to be around and there's a good group of lads here, some really good footballers and some good people as well from what I've seen in the last sort of seven, eight days. It's um really pleased to come through the door and be involved with them. Do you know a few of the lads before you came in or is it a brand new dressing room for you? No, no, I, I know a few of them just from playing against them and stuff like that and um yeah come up against them a couple of times but it was you know it's just one of them really you, 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 as you're playing games and round the circuit you, you, you play against the same people all the time and you know when people move on you find yourself ending up and obviously played against the club before and there's still a few lads here from there, from, from there so yeah uh, so talking about you've, you've played against the club before and you have obviously fond memories of playing against Tramia, don't you? Hopefully replicate that in, in a Tramia shirt now. Yeah, fingers crossed, hopefully. Um, I can keep up my goal scoring record at Prenton Park. That'll be uh, good, for, good for everyone involved. Um, but yeah, it was a, it was a we weird game really because I'd only just broke into that team at Peterborough. That was like my little start of my run there. So that, that game and the run of games before and after meant everything to me. And uh, the fans will see that when I play, it's 100% every single second of the game so there's never a game where I've like shied away or hid how pleased I was to score a goal or whatever so it was nothing against the club or it could have been anyone and I'd have reacted that way I was just so pleased to be on the pitch for a league one club playing against it could have been they're playing against the Sunday league team and I'd have celebrated like that it was just a natural reaction of how happy I was to actually score a goal um, because I'd been on a good little run do you know what I mean and then again playing in the FA Cup proper it, you know it was a good night for everyone so yeah it was just a, a natural reaction it was nothing against the club <laughs> at all um, but it just think got construed in a way um, that there was like something underlying which there wasn't it was just a, a purely natural reaction from me to be so pleased about scoring you can see just talking to your passion for football so yeah. so high so you obviously want to bring that to Trammy like you've said you, you'll leave everything out there on the pitch and that's something the Trammy fans will, will love about you yeah that's always been like a, a prerequisite for me is no matter how well or poorly you're playing it's just 100% effort, 100% commitment every second you're on the pitch and there's not a manager, a coach, ex-player, teammate who will be able to say any difference about me. I've always been one of the fittest in every team I've been and I've always given it 100% every day in training and every game. Don't get me wrong, I've had my fair share of stinkers and I'm sure that if I'm here for a long enough time I will have one. Um, but it, you know, always been 100% regardless of the outcome of the game. It was always, you give the best you've got while you're on the pitch. And talking about Tram, you're obviously you're a local lad, so you know what this this football club means to the community. It's such a, a positive uh, a positive impact on the community of Tram, and uh, it's something that you'll obviously relish of being a part of. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a massive club. Um, people sometimes forget how much of a big club it is and it's a, it's a massive part of the community over in the Wirral and you know especially very close to the stadium and, and, and around the ground so I just think for me if I can match the passion the fans show then hopefully it'll go well and as I say that's just a, a baseline for me is just giving it everything I've got and hopefully the fans can become I can you know be bought into <laughs> and forgiven <laughs> And finally, just for the Tramia fans who, who don't know too much about you, what, what kind of player are you? 
I just like to get forward, um, score goals, create goals, and generally just be like just be busy and be making things happen, getting on the ball. I, I never shy away from the ball, um, never go hiding. I'll always be on to asking for the ball, trying to make things happen. Whether that's being out wide, putting crosses in, being in the box, putting them in the back of the net myself, or you know trying to slide other people in. It's just a, my game, just about attacking and you know trying to create something for the team when things are going well and obviously when things aren't going for us, I'll always try and be an outlet of you know creativity and and sort of positive actions.